to iPad or not to iPad? That's the question. With the recent unveiling of the iPad 2, tablet computers are taking over the home computer world. The only question, though, is when PCs will be a thing of the past and what tablet computer is best for you. Joining me with help in answering that second question is our technology contributor, Andrea Smith. As always, Andrea, good to see you. And you come bearing fun stuff as uh, always, always here. And the big thing, the iPad 2, it's the talk of the planet right now, of course. Tablet mania. It's the t <laughs> it is. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited to have the iPad 2 here because I've been waiting to try it out and see if it's as wonderful and does all the things that it's supposed to do. And you know what? It's fabulous. It, uh, I was playing with it during, you know, before we went on the air, and it, it really is good. It's thinner. It's lighter. It's faster. It is smart. It comes with a smart cover here that actually I just, I was playing with this before and you just hold these together. It's got a magnet in it and it just, the cover just sits on like this. So it's not that you had to hook in or anything like that. You literally got it closed, the magnets did their thing and you close it right over and it puts it to sleep, which is also It puts cool. it to sleep. And then what's so cool is you, you roll it up onto itself and so it becomes a viewer. You just prop it up like this when you're oh, ready Oh, wow. To, okay, so it has all video. kinds of functions. Perfect yep. for it. But the thing about this is, you know, we've moved from a tablet was content consumption. We were watching video. We were emailing. We were doing social networking. But the iPad 2 has kind of moved us into content creation. creation. Okay. Which we're is big doing here. things now. So we've got these great apps. We've got GarageBand here. I really like this one. This is for all the aspiring musicians in the world here who want to kind of make their masterpiece. You just start playing. You can record music. You make your own stuff. We've got iMovie on here because now this has two cameras, a forward-facing camera and a rear camera. Shoots HD video. Shoot your video. iMovie's on here as an app. Perfect. Make your own creation. And mostly the best upgrade from the iPad, from the original iPad to this one, what would you say is the number one, you know, newest factor in terms of making it better than the original? I think the cameras. The camera makes, the camera the makes okay. it a big difference. That's the yeah. one. And they Absolutely. run for how much? Um, it's the exact same price as the original ones were. Not bad. And sometimes with those buyback programs out there now, that could be a real ni a nice deal. Yes. All right. And you also yes. like the Zoom here, Motorola. Yeah. Now, the Motorola Zoom, this was king of the castle for about two weeks, I have to say. <laughs> I really like this. And it was wonderful because this does a lot of the things that the iPad did not do. What is that? It plays flash video. That's something that the iPad won't do. And I asked you this too, when we were getting ready, why does, why does Apple products not play the flash? It's, it's frustrating sometimes. It, it is, but it's something Steve Jobs does not want flash. He at one point decided that it wasn't secure and it wasn't stable and he just decided didn't that it like didn't it. play well. He went with HTML5. It's very geek speak, but yes. it's just not something that he wants on tablets. So Motorola, Motorola made a different Zoom, call though, yeah. They have flash on here, so you can watch web videos on here. This also has a beautiful camera. In fact, I think the cameras on here are better than the ones on the iPad, too. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, Any other things you say are better about this than, than the iPad? You know, this is probably lesser known. Well, you know, the thing is, if you're an Android person, some people this just your... love that. If you have a Droid phone and you like Android, you know, they've got 200,000 apps now in the Android market. Wow. So that's great. It doesn't com really compare with the 350,000 apps that iPad has or 65,000 native iPad apps. So... But they're, they're getting there. Very cool. And the last thing you wanted to talk about, the third well, runner up here. Well, coming up soon, April 19th, RIM has announced the BlackBerry Playbook. BlackBerry devotees, they're just waiting for this tablet Finally, to come out. Finally, they're doing it, right? Finally, getting in the market. Finally, it's available for pre-order. That, too, will play flash video. That, too, is going to be about the same size, same pricing. BlackBerry, the worry was there, there were not going to be as many apps, but they've just announced that you're going to be able to run Android apps on the playbook. So a great news for those people. And you really see it down the road that, that tablets will kind of overtake even laptops? Are we getting to that point now where people want this more than the, the full keyboard and all I that? I do believe that you can take this away for a weekend and do just about everything that you might be able to do on a laptop. Very impressive. And of all three, real quick, your favorite and why? Uh, oh, my gosh, that's a hard question. Uh, but I pressure? have to say... This just works. The iPad 2 works. All right. We appreciate All right. As always, great stuff and great options Thanks. for everybody out there. Thanks for being here. And again, uh, more tablet computers that are taking over the world, as she says. Be sure to visit our fan page for the latest details on all of these models. That's WNNFans.com.